hey welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create this dashboard page with this widget and charts and bar graph so when you install filament admin you will get a simple two static widgets uh, which you can get rid of it by first creating a file a page inside your filament pages and dashboard just create a new page make sure it extends uh, this class so we have new dashboard class and here just leave it for now you can add whatever you want so once you do that you go to admin panel provider and from your pages just remove the dashboard you'll have the dashboard entry here just remove that and just comment this out so once you do that you'll have clean dashboard now let's add the new static widgets so there are three kind of widget that you can add uh, it is uh, first one is the summary of the stats widget second one the charts and third the table so first uh, we'll go ahead and create a uh, stats for that uh, you just go here just create a new stat overview uh, widget and just put in these things just copy over these and you'll get these let me show you my stats widget stats overview so here i have three uh, cards first one is showing the order uh, for today total orders and total products so I'm simply uh, making this query to orders table to get total count, order count and product count. How easy is that? By doing that you just have this and to create this chart you will have to create a chart model by this command make filament widget and name your chart widget and just pass this option once you do that you'll have a simple class uh, with these methods let me show you uh, my order order chart so this will display the information about order this month so we you'll have this get data method and get type so get type will uh, tell you what kind of graph you want to create i'm uh, telling line graph and for data uh, it's quite simple you just need one uh, package so you can do this way you can load all data by querying and construct all the labels here and then just pass these uh, over here so I find there is a better option which you can use uh, using the eloquent directly for that you need to install this package just composer required this and then uh, just query through it let's jump over my use case my order chart and let me explain so this trend model uh, you, this is a method uh, given by the package here you pass your order or your model for which you want to construct i'm constructing how many order each day over the this period the start of month the start of end of month so it will count through all those int entry group them by this date and just display so once you have more uh, you have data uh, you have to call this so this is default you don't need to change anything for every uh, thing you need to just do aggregate aggregate is the data this will aggregate the data count everything inside this particular per day how many order happen and then for levels it will display the date so it will just aggregate this as a date and display it here you, you don't have to change that so I'm using date alias period so if uh, in your table there is another column called date you might get some error so I'm just aliasing the date to period that's it let me show you another chart uh, which will give you better idea so if you compare uh, these side by side let me compare that sorry about that okay in sales set 
uh, sales chart, uh, everything is same. I'm just summing up the order total. So for each day, I'm summing up the total orders and over here, everything is same. All right, so I'm making this bar graph and this is line graph. So if you want to know more about it, just uh, go through the uh, package uh, um, documentation and you'll have good idea about it. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's how we create uh, this kind of chart. Hope you find this video helpful. I will see you in the other, another video. Take care. Bye.